What's good everyone, your dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about famous decks, who, after bursting through to the mainstream thanks to his hit singles Japan and Pick It Up earlier on in the year, finds himself in a very different position by the end of the year, with his hype dwindling, a vocal portion of his fanbase not really feeling his newer music, and his return single Nervous with Baby, Critch, and Rich that I liked quite a bit struggling to gain any mainstream traction, and today I I wanted to discuss more so the musical side to why he's losing his hype and is on the decline. And before we get into it, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow your boy on all social medias and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, I want everyone to comment their favourite famous deck song. For me, it's either between With Your Bitch or Go Yard Part 2 with Rich the Kid, so let me know yours. But moving on. The first hiccup came with his debut album Dex Meets Dexter, and as someone who has been listening to Dex for a few years now, I know what to expect from a Dex project. You are gonna get a bunch of songs that vary greatly in terms of quality. You'll get some absolute heat, some songs that are middle of the road, and then you'll get those songs you probably won't play again. And that's how Dex has been the majority of his career, because with as much music as he releases, it's hard to be consistently amazing. So as fans, we've kind of become come used to it, but when it comes to the thousands of mainstream ears he gained through Japan and pick it up, they don't know that, and they don't care to listen through a mediocre album, and unfortunately what we got with his debut album was met with lukewarm reception, and although I thought it had some top tier decks on it, he definitely took some risks on the album, and it's safe to say that some of them worked and some of them didn't, and overall it was filled with a few middle of the road songs, and this sentiment is reflected when you look at how well the album did on Spotify. Not a single other track from his album sits in his top 5 songs on his Spotify, aside from Pick It Up and Japan, which is not a good sign, and shows that the album as a whole wasn't really embraced and didn't really have any lasting power, and a lack of an overall solid debut album that had staying power has certainly contributed to the position he finds himself in now and has turned mainstream listeners off of him. And moving on, the next thing to talk about is a bit of a stagnation in his music. Dex, as usual, is constantly dropping music. However, since his album, none of his video looses have been able to garner any huge attention. They haven't all done terribly, but none of them have caught on in the same way that some of his videos like With Your Bitch or Drip For My Walk have caught on in the past. Rather, they seem to be attracting a fair share of negativity as his fans have flooded comment sections with sentiments like these. And even if you look at Dex in this video he dropped recently, he just isn't moving with that same energy, isn't looking the same, and isn't bringing that off the wall charisma we love Dex for. And I get that artists change and develop, but for me personally, his hyper energetic style made him stand out and made him unique, whereas now, his music has lost that quirky aesthetic that made it drawing, and it's starting to show in the numbers that he's losing the attention of his hardcore fanbase that love his constant music, with his four most recent videos yet to reach a mill. And thirdly is bad press. Now, I'm not entirely sure what exactly went on with the whole pulling a gun on his fan scenario, because it's a baffling decision that can't really be rationalised, but the media coverage that this got made it spread everywhere, and it understandably turned a lot of people against him. So, that in and of itself has played a part in hurting his hype and public image. But furthermore, it's important to remember that this is on top of the unfortunate case of him beating a woman, which already hurt his public image a lot, but still, people did give him a second chance. But this gun scenario has probably turned some people off Dex, who gave him the benefit of the doubt in that first case. Furthermore, this happened a month after the release of his single Nervous, so this incident did probably kill a bit of the hype and momentum the single may have had, but to be honest, I'm not sure if the song would have been a hit either way. It's done decently off the strength of the names alone, but it doesn't seem to be picking up steam, with the video sitting at under 200,000 views in nearly a month. But that's all from me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, make sure to let me know your favorite famous deck song in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow your boy on all social medias, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video.